All right. Well, welcome everybody to Yogi Plan. This is our Valentine's Day special. Woo! You'll see I have my pink mat here. And I'm wearing my pinkish pants, as pink as my pants can get. Ah, so uh, today we're going to be, like always, we do a mix of everything um, with a special focus on your hips and your heart. And so you're going to want to have a strap and a block is always good to have. We're going to start today in Sukhasana. So if you'd like to sit on your block, you're more than welcome to you. And so we're just going to take a moment here to find ourselves on our mats. Maybe close our eyes for a moment. And just start to breathe through your nose. Finding that yogi breath as you inhale. Pausing at the top. And then exhaling through your nose. Letting our breath bring us to our mat today. Or we can leave everything else outside for the next hour. So as you're continuing your yogi breath, I invite you to sit up tall, opening up your shoulders, letting them fall down your back, Maybe imagining a string lifting up your head just a little bit higher. So today we're gonna to start our yoga practice off with uh, some breath through our chakras, just to you know acknowledge them and awaken them. And I invite you as you're breathing into your chakras, to breathe all the way back to the back to your spine because your chakras are within your body, energy points within your body, all the way back existing along the length of your spine. So I invite you to focus on your red chakra, which is located at your pelvic floor. It's your root chakra. Helps you find grounding. Safety and security. We're gonna move up into our um, orange chakra, which is our sacral chakra. This is located in your lower abdominal area. Once again, breathing into that chakra all the way into your spine. This is uh, the home of creativity. And moving up to your solar plexus, which is kind of in the area just above your navel to your yellow chakra.
that place you can breathe into when you want to activate self-confidence, personal strength. And moving your focus up to your heart chakra, your green chakra. The area of self-love, love in general. And moving up to your throat chakra, which is that pretty cyan blue color. A place of communication. Moving up to your third eye chakra, the color of indigo, located just in that place, just above the spot right in between your eyes. The home of your intuition. Moving up to your crown chakra, which is located at the top of your head. Breathing into that area. Breathing into your connection to the universe all around you. You find your shoulders bunching up, just allow them to drop back down your back, opening up that collarbone. And as you're continuing to breathe, maybe just drawing in your navel a little bit, engaging your core. We're going to just let our hands drop down to the backs behind or back of our legs here. And on an exhale, I invite you just to turn your, let your ear, your right ear drop down towards your right shoulder without lifting your shoulder. Breathing into the left hand side of your neck. And inhaling up to center. Exhaling, letting your left ear now drop towards your left shoulder. Breathing into the right side of your neck. Inhaling up to center. And exhaling, lifting your face towards the ceiling. Breathing into the front part of your neck. And on your next exhale, dropping your face to center and then allowing to drop, bringing your chin down towards your chest. Maybe bringing it in a little bit like you're trying to make a double chin. And inhaling now into the back of your neck.
Once again, allowing those shoulders to drop down on your back. And inhaling, facing center. Allowing yourself to breathe. We're gonna do some gentle shoulder rolls now. So just start going in one direction that you feel good in. And then stopping and switching directions. Stopping, inhaling your shoulders up to a shrug and then exhaling them down. All right, we're gonna get our feet going now. So we're gonna come on up onto our knees. I'll turn to the side here. We're gonna allow our feet, the tops of our feet to stay on the mat, or we're just gonna sit back on our feet. And then we're going to take our hands out in front of us and just form a tight fist. We're gonna hold this, maintaining some pressure in our fists here for a few breaths. Then we're gonna release. And on an inhale, we're gonna take our left hand and just pull our, we're gonna, sorry, our right hand is gonna form a stop in front of us. We've done this before. And then as we inhale, we're gonna bring our fingers towards us. Continuing to breathe here. And on an exhale, we're gonna draw our hand, fingers down and then towards us. So now our palm is facing us. Okay, we're gonna release that and go to the other side. So our left hand is gonna form a stop in front of us. We're gonna inhale our fingers towards us. And on the exhale, we're gonna push our fingers down, bring our palms to face us. Then we're going to release our hands down. All right, we're going to just prop ourselves up on our hands for a sec, taking our feet out. And then we're going to tuck our toes under and sit back now on our toes this way. We're going to move into um, eagle arms. So we're going to take our right elbow, put it underneath our left, and just um, wrap our arms around each other. You'll see my hands are not touching palm to palm. And as we're breathing, we're just gonna push our elbows out a little bit. It's feeling a nice stretch in our shoulders here. Or just you can have your eyes closed or you could be looking straight ahead of you. We're going to exhale and release. Then we're going to take our left elbow, put it underneath our right elbow, and wrap our arms around each other the other way. This time pushing our elbows out a little bit, feeling a stretch the other way. You'll find the more you push your elbows out away from you, the stronger the sensation as you ignore the sensation in your toes. And on an exhale, we'll release. Speaking of your toes, we'll kick them out. All right, good job, everybody. So now we're gonna come up to our knees. Bear with me, I'm gonna take my sweater off here. <clears throat> we're gonna move into a gate pose today. So we're gonna stick our right leg out. 
Inhaling our left hand up, palm facing the right. And as we exhale, we're gonna reach to our right here. And if you like, you can look up to the ceiling. And if you wanna to try to play with your balance a bit, you can take your right hand, just wrap it behind your back. One more breath here. And on an exhale, we're gonna take our left hand down, put it down to touching our mat on the left hand side. And we're gonna inhale our right hand up on facing the front or the left here. Coming into a grounded plank. And your drishti can be up towards the ceiling or straight ahead if that feels okay. And we're gonna inhale up onto our knees again. This time we're gonna take our left foot out to get out in front of us. Inhaling our right hand up, palm facing the left, exhaling, reaching towards the left here. Once again, feel free to look straight ahead, or if it's okay, you can look up the ceiling. And if you want to play with your balance, you can wrap that bottom hand behind your back. Breathing up through that right hand side of your body. Maybe trying to reach a little bit further. Maintaining your balance between your knee and your foot. Inhaling up. And as we exhale, we're gonna drop our right hand down now, inhaling our left hand up to the sky. It's option to look at the ceiling here. Exhale down and coming back up to our knees. I'm going to turn sideways. So you guys can see me. We're going to come into tabletop here. Looking straight ahead. Drawing that abdominal area in to strengthen your core. And we're going to move into cat cow here. So we're going to inhale, forehead, tailbone, reaching up towards the ceiling. Exhaling down, forehead, tailbone, reaching towards the mat. And inhaling up into cow. Exhaling down into cat. We'll do this a few times on our own, following our breath. Moving through our shoulders, feeling our spine as it bends one way and arches the other. So we'll do one more round of this. And then we'll find ourselves back in tabletop for a breath here. We're going to tuck our toes under, and on exhale, we're going to come into downward dog. So take a moment to check your fingers, make sure they're spread open. You can start pedaling your knees if you like. Maybe going side to side. And then coming into your first downward dog. Pushing through those, that fleshy part of your, underneath your thumb, and the fleshy part underneath your fingers. Pushing that tailbone up towards the ceiling. And your drishti is gazing towards your navel. One more breath here. And 
And on the exhale, we'll bend our knees, inhaling, big step up towards the top of the mat. Exhaling down to forward fold, being sure to bend your knees here so much that you can touch the floor. Inhaling up halfway, engaging your core as you come up halfway into Ardha Uttanasana, and then coming back down into Uttanasana. And then we're going to inhale all the way up, bring our hands to the ceiling, into salute, and exhaling down from Sviti to Tadasana. Step back now on my back mat. All right. So we're going to inhale our hands up to salute. Nice little back bend here. Exhaling down all the way. Coming into that forward fold. Being sure to engage your tummy, even though it's touching your thighs here. Inhaling up halfway. Looking forward. Exhaling your hands back down, taking your right foot and stepping back into a low lunge. So um, your left knee is over top of your left ankle. Then we're just going to drop our back knee here. And if you want to create a little more stability, you could take that left foot and just scooch it over a little, just a little bit to give yourself a little more width in your stance. And we're going to inhale our hands to our hips. And from here, we're going to inhale our hands to cactus, pushing our elbows back. And we're going to inhale our hands to a T. And on an exhale, we're going to twist towards our left. And on your next exhale, we're going to drop our right hand down to the mat, inhaling our left hand up towards the ceiling. And your gaze is up towards the ceiling or straight ahead. And on the exhale, we'll bring our left hand down, put it on the outside of our left foot. We're going to lift that back leg, gazing straight ahead. We're going to take our front foot, bring it back to meet our back, coming into our first plank. And as we look straight ahead, we're going to exhale, lowering all the way. Inhaling, we're going to lift our chest up off the mat, coming into baby cobra. Exhaling back down. Inhaling up to tabletop. Open our toes over and exhaling into downward dog. So our gaze is up towards our navel. Make sure you can't see your heels peeking around at you. Maybe trying to push your heels down just a little bit. And of course, there's always the option to bend your knees a little bit if that feels better for you today. On an exhale, we're going to bend our knees, inhaling big step forward, coming to the top of our mat, exhaling down forward fold, inhaling up halfway, letting those shoulders drop down your back here, exhaling all the way down again, and then inhaling up to sweep. Giving yourself a little, little bit of back bend. Exhale and down. Give yourself a stiti. And then down to chest. All right, so when you come into the Tadasana, just a reminder to take a moment to root your feet through down to the mat. And as you're inhaling, you're drawing that energy up from the ground. Nice posture here, letting your shoulders drop down your back, opening up that collarbone, just imagining that string lifting your head a little bit taller. We're going to inhale our hands up to sleep. Exhale your hands all the way down. Inhaling up halfway. 
Exhaling our hands back down, taking a step back now with our left foot. We're going to come into a low lunge with our left foot. So your right knee is right over top of your right ankle. And then you're going to drop your back knee. If you want, you can scooch that right foot out a little bit, widen your stance. We're going to inhale our hands to our hips. Continuing to breathe here. And next inhale, coming into uh, cactus. And pushing those elbows back just a little bit to open up the heart. And on your next inhale, we're going to put our arms into a T. Ooh, my wall's a little close here. And then on your next inhale, we're going to twist to our right. And as you exhale, taking your left hand now to the floor, inhaling your right hand up. Gaze is up at the ceiling, or straight ahead. One more breath here. And exhale our right hand down beside our right foot. We're going to inhale our back knee up, exhaling our right foot to meet our left. Coming into plank, holding for one yoga breath. Exhaling all the way down. Inhaling now, you, I invite you to go into baby cobra or there's the option to come into full cobra by pushing through your hands. Allowing those shoulders to drop down your back here. Exhaling back down. Inhaling up through tabletop. And exhaling into downward dog. Take that drishti up towards your navel or your upper thighs. And pushing through your hands and raising that tailbone up towards the ceiling. On exhale, we'll bend our knees, inhaling, big step up, coming up to the top of our mat, exhaling down, forward fold, inhaling up halfway, exhaling back down, and then inhaling up all the way, to salute, hands up towards the ceiling, then you do the back bend, and exhaling down, here's some CT. And then now to Tadasana. Right. On an inhale, we're going to take our right foot, take a big step back. Nice wide stance here. We're going to take our, make sure our right foot is facing not totally 90 degrees, but um, wide enough so that your pelvis is facing the long, the length of your, the side of your mat. And inhale our hands up. On an exhale, we're gonna to reach towards the front of the room, bringing our hand down, our left hand down, and our right hand up, coming into trikasana. Oh God, I can't say it. Triangle, trikasana. That was the, the pose I wanted to talk about a little bit today. And there's of course the option to grab your block. Mine's a little bit far from me, so I'm just gonna take keep my hand on my shin here. Or if you'd like to go a little further, you can drop your hand down to your ankle or to the floor. At the same time, turning your core towards the front of the room or to the long side of your mat. One more breath here. Inhaling back up, arms still in a T. Your hips have not moved, your back foot has not moved. We're gonna exhale, bending our left knee now. So that is stacked over top of our left foot. Coming into warrior two. We're balancing our weight between our two feet. We're gazing over top of our front hand here. Engaging that solar plexus chakra and sacral chakra. 
drawing in your navel. And on an exhale, you can take your left elbow and place it on the front knee here, bringing that, swooping that right hand down and up into extended wide angle, extended side angle. Once again, being mindful that you're drawing your navel in, keeping your core strong, actively reaching that right hand out towards it, away from you, and gazing up at the ceiling or straight ahead. Feeling that energy move all the way along your right hand side here. And on the exhale, we're gonna swoop back down Inhaling up, we're going to pivot our feet now. So our feet are parallel with the front and the back of the mat. Inhale our arms up. And as we exhale, we're going to bring our hands down in front of us on the mat. Inhaling, looking up. And as we exhale, we're going to walk our hands back between our legs, bringing a little micro bend into our knees. Possibly lengthening your stance if it feels good for you. So our elbows are facing behind us. We're also looking behind us. One more breath here. And on the inhale, we're gonna bring our hands to our hips, coming up halfway, exhaling here. And on our next inhale, we're gonna engage our core, coming up tall. And as we exhale, we're gonna take our feet now and pivot, pivot them around. So your uh, front foot, or sorry, your right foot's gonna be facing the back of the room, back of the mat. Your back foot is opening up almost 90 degrees, but not quite. We're in, so your um, hips or your pelvis is facing pretty much the long side of the mat, not completely. <laughs> we're gonna inhale our arms up to a T. We're gonna exhale, reaching now towards the right. And then we're gonna take our right hand Bring it down onto our shin or our ankle. Left hand is reaching towards the ceiling. If you have your block hand, you could grab that too. It's always an option. Continuing to breathe here, turning your core towards that long side of the mat. And on the inhale, we'll come on up, keeping our arms in a T. We're going to exhale our right knee, bending our right knee now. So it's over top of our right ankle. You might need to widen your stance a bit. I always tend to do that. So taking a quick check now to see that you can see that inside of your right foot, of your front foot, that means that your ankle is aligned with your knee. Double checking maybe your back hand. It's funny how things sort of go different ways when you're not paying attention to them. Drawing in that navel. And on the exhale, we're gonna take our right elbow on our right knee, swooping that left hand up, inhaling it up, reaching towards the um, right hand side now, coming into extended side angle, breathing into that long side of your body, the left hand side, possibly looking up at the ceiling, that feels okay. actively reaching that hand to the right. And on exhale, we'll sweep it back down, coming up, pivoting our feet once again to the front and the back of the mat, 
We're going to inhale our arms up. And as we exhale, we're going to clasp our hands behind our back. Inhaling, opening up our collarbone to the ceiling. And as we exhale, hinging at the waist. Giving our knees a little micro bend. And letting our hands drop down towards the mat. Allowing gravity to work its magic. And on an inhale, we're going to come up halfway, hands to our hips. Exhale in here. And we're going to inhale, engaging our core, coming up all the way. And as we exhale, we'll just bring our feet together here. So um, we're going to move now into our standing pose of the series, which is dancer. I'm going to do it facing you today, um, just to give you a different angle. Sometimes when you're at home, you get used to seeing the same angle, and um, it helps sometimes to see it differently. So you guys might remember down to pose. We're going to stand hip distance apart. Our feet are hip distance apart. We're going to shift our weight to our left hand side. We're going to step back with our right foot. Not a big step, just a little step. And if that's feeling all right, we're going to lift our right ankle up and grab it with our right hand pushing our foot into our hand. And we're gonna start bending forward, lifting that left hand up. Continuing to breathe here, finding that drishti on the wall. Continuing to push with your foot into your right hand, reaching out with your left, whoa, it's okay if you fall. Couple more breaths here. And on an exhale, we'll release down. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna shift our weight to our right foot, take a step back with our left. And then we're gonna inhale our left foot into our left hand, pushing our knee back away from us. And we're going to reach forward with our right hand. You might have a micro bend in your right leg there, in your right knee. Taking your dancer pose to where you want it to go today. One more breath. Now we're gonna exhale, release. Woo. All right, we're gonna come together to the top of our mat now. We're gonna inhale our hands up, reaching up into salute, exhaling our hands all the way down to a forward fold, inhaling up halfway. We're gonna exhale our hands back down. We're gonna step back first with our right foot and then with our left, coming into plank, looking straight ahead. And then we're gonna exhale all the way down to our tummies. I just have to maneuver myself here. I'm a little high on my mat. Okay, from here, we're gonna move into locust pose. So you're gonna take your hands and uh, place your arms along your sides and your hand, the top of your hand is on your mat. Your face is into your mat. You're not going to want to be looking at me right now. <laughs> You're going to push your pubic bone into your mat. And on an inhale, you're going to raise your hands up and your feet. So you're like a diving superman. Your drifty straight ahead. Your toes are pointing out away from you. Your fingers are pointing towards your toes. One more breath here. And we're going to exhale down. 
And as we inhale, we're going to come on up to tabletop. So here there's an option um, to stay in tabletop. Uh, we're going to move into three-legged dog and then pigeon. So you can do that through tabletop and bird dog. Or if you'd like, you can join me in downward dog, raising your bum to the air. Fingers spread. Core engaged. And on an inhale, we're going to raise our right foot into the air into three legged dog. Pointing out actively with our back foot. As we exhale, we're going to draw our knee into our nose. Inhaling the foot back up. Exhaling, drawing our knee to our nose. One more time, foot goes back up. And as we exhale, we're going to take our knee, put it behind our right wrist. And our left hip is going to rest on our left foot. So we're coming into pigeon here. We're going to inhale, looking up. Exhaling. Letting those shoulders drop down your back. And on your next exhale, if you'd like, you can walk your hands forward. You can use your block. And just allow your, your top part of your body to come down to whatever place feels good for you. Couple more breaths here. And on the inhale, we're going to gently walk ourselves back up with our hands. Exhaling here. And on your next exhale, we're going to come back into tabletop. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So on your next exhale, I'm raising your bum to the sky, coming into downward dog. Taking a moment to find your alignment, spreading your fingers, checking you can't see your heels. And on inhale, we're going to raise our left foot now, actively pointing towards the back of the room. As we exhale, we're going to bring our knee to our nose, inhaling, left foot back up, exhaling, knee to nose, inhaling back up. And on our next exhale, we're going to bring our knee behind our left wrist. And this time, our hip is on our heel, our right hip. Inhaling, opening up that collarbone towards the ceiling. You're more than welcome to stay here if you like. Or if you prefer, there's the option to walk our hands down. Once again, finding that place, that Happy place for your pigeon. Maybe your head's resting on your block. Maybe it's on the floor. More breaths here. And 
And as you're inhaling, we're gonna start walking our hands back up, bringing our bodies up. Staying here for a yoga breath. Then moving ourselves back into tabletop. And as we exhale, we're gonna open up our knees coming into child's pose. So I'm gonna teach you a bit of an active child's pose tonight. So um, your feet can be close together or touching, your knees are wide apart. We're gonna start by putting one of our hands out in front of us and then the other. Inhaling here and as we exhale, dropping down between our arms. You push into your fingertips here. And then of course there's the option to just take your arms and put them around your knees. On your next inhale, we're just gonna prop ourselves up, coming into a sitting position. I'm gonna grab my block. I invite you to do the same. We're gonna move into cow face pose. So you're gonna take, um, once you're on your block, just gonna take your left knee and uh, bend it in front of you, and then take your right knee and place it on top. You'll find that a block, of course, helps with the alignment of your knees and lifting your hips up a little higher. We're gonna take our strap in our left hand, take our right hand, place it in between our shoulder blades, and inhale our strap up. And as we exhale, we're gonna drop our strap down and grab it with our hand, our right hand. So you create some tension between your strap and your hands, allowing for your shoulders to stretch out. Giving your shoulders a nice stretch here, sitting up straight, breathing into that third eye chakra, drawing your navel in. And on your next exhale, we'll release. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side now. So you can take your feet out. Now take your right knee, put it down, and take your left knee and place it on top or as close as you can get. If you do feel pain doing this, um, you can also come into Sukhasana or cross-legged pose if that feels better for you. Taking your left hand, we're gonna put it up through your shoulder blades, Inhaling your strap up with your right. Exhaling your strap down. And if you're able to bind here, you're more than welcome to do that too. Sitting up tall. Once again, engaging that navel. Breathing into your third eye chakra. And on an exhale, we'll release. All right, move it. Take our blocks out from under us, and we're gonna lay down on our backs. Knees up. 
We're gonna bring our knees into our chest, keeping that strap in our hands. We're gonna take the strap and wrap it around our feet. And on an inhale, we're gonna raise our soles of our feet up to the ceiling. Maybe wrapping our hands around our strap. And as we exhale, we're gonna gently pull our feet towards our forehead. And as you can see, my feet are far from touching my forehead. Keeping your shoulders on the ground here. And maybe on your exhales, maybe just pulling your feet a little bit closer. You'll find the longer you hold this, the further your feet will actually, or the closer your feet will get to your forehead, the further down they go. Couple more breaths here. And on your next exhale, we'll release the strap, bending our knees. Maybe bringing our knees into our chest, giving ourselves a little hug. And we're gonna take our hands, move them between our legs, either grab our big toe or our ankles or the outside of our foot. And on our next inhale, raising our soles to the ceiling, coming into happy baby. Feel free to rock a little bit here. That feels good for you. Maybe try a smile if you want. It is called happy baby, but you could probably be grumpy baby too if you want. And on your next exhale, we'll release our feet, bringing our soles of our feet to our mat with our knees bent. We're gonna bring our arms into a cactus or a T. Knees are together here. And as we exhale, we're gonna allow our knees to fall to the right as we turn to the left. Taking that option, if you like, of propping up your knees with a block, if that feels better for you. Inhaling our knees towards the ceiling and our forehead. We're going to exhale, letting our knees now drop to the left as we turn to face the right. We're going to inhale our knees up, forehead facing the ceiling. And we're just going to release our feet down, releasing our arms to our side. Coming into Shavasana, our corpse pose here. We're going to release that breath. Maybe out in a big sigh. and just letting your breath do its thing. If it feels more comfortable for you, you can always bend your knees. This is your Shavasana, so you take it the way you want it. Letting your tongue fall away from your teeth. Relaxing your jaw. 
Relaxing your forehead. invite you to slowly come back to your breath. Not controlling it, but just noticing it. Noticing how you're Chest rises on your inhales and lowers on your exhales, just naturally, without force. I invite you to wiggle your fingers and your toes, finding that stretch where you need it today. Maybe bringing your knees up, giving yourself one last little hug. And then when you're ready, we'll turn to our, onto our sides, Let's, letting our heads rest on our own. You know, considering it's Valentine's Day and everything, I invite you to just think about something that you love. And then when you're ready, we will bring ourselves up to sitting. And I really appreciate you guys spending Valentine's, well, the part of your Valentine's Day with me. 
Um, thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.